hey guys today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a store system this was recommended by comment so yes comment down below if you want more tutorials so first we need a store mod uh, I mean a store model so let's uh, get a store model in the toolbox because I'm not bothered to build one right now so just type store get any store I'll just put the Apple store so this is it Mm. do they have scripts make sure there's no scripts in it there are tools that's fine because that I don't really care but are there any other scripts um yes there's no scripts okay so this is the store uh so I'm gonna make a folder and call it stores and put this store inside of that fold uh, this model so I'm gonna name this model uh, Apple store so now we want the player to come and own this store if no one owns it so there's some few stuff you need to do for that so firstly inside of the Apple store model you're gonna put a string value right and this is going to be called owner okay um once you do that uh let's uh do one more thing which is uh a part which will display if uh the if the item has been bought i mean the store has been bought so let's just do something like this and I'm actually gonna do this actually I'm gonna go inside the model like this model I'm gonna go inside select everything and group it once more because then it will be organized so everything is organized now and now you can just put the part back and uh, this part is gonna be called mm, I'll call it display part so we'll put a surface GUI in this and if you want to cover the whole surface then put a uh, go to where is it okay I need to change the face first let's put like a frame so we know okay that's where it is and uh, we're always on top no actually remove always on top because you don't want it to always be on top so yeah then the size I'm gonna put one zero one zero so as you can see it covered the whole part inside that we can put like a text label um so this part needs to be rotated since the direction is that's that way okay anyways here uh, we're gonna set the size to one zero and maybe like a point three zero oh no, no, no. okay then now uh, we can take scale it owned by uh, for now it will be no one okay my bad so that's how it will be over there and uh, now we'll um, add another text so I'm going to duplicate the current text label and change the position to one here then a point two one and I'm gonna remove text scaled increase the size actually I think I'm gonna change this to Apple store owned by no one that's perfect uh, let's just make another part now 
Mm. Just duplicate that. I'll just duplicate that so we can quickly do another button. This button is gonna basically be the button the player should click to own the store. So let's uh, we can call it a button and it should have a click detector in it. Mm, and you can put like a green and uh, make sure they are anchored okay and uh, in the display display port I'm gonna change the background colors okay this is how it will be uh, let's just remove the border size pixels too I great and now since that's done uh, we need to go to serve script service put a script name it anything you want but I'll name it leader stats actually stats so this is gonna be so we need to create a value inside the player called it's gonna be an object value and it's been it's gonna be called owning I mean like a owned plot or something like that you'll you'll get it when I do it so I'll just do it and then you'll get it so it should be a uh, player inside and so yeah uh, current plot goes to insist on new mm. It's gonna be an object value. It's gonna be inside the player and current plot dot name equals to current plot. And uh, then once that's done, um, yeah. So now you have this value, right? So uh, you'll get it when we do the other part of it. Now we're gonna go back to the Apple Store inside the button uh, we're gonna put a script actually let's put it in the apple store model and uh, you can name it anything you want I'll just name it handler so we need to get the display uh, part so for to get the display part first let's get the model which is script.parent and display part equal to model dot display part uh, then we'll get the button model dot button and let's get the click detector which is button okay now once that's done uh, we're gonna call an event called click detector dot mouse click we're gonna connect it to a function and uh, it's gonna be a player so now we can get the current plot inside the player once you get the current plot we need to, see, to check one thing I mean two things actually let's get the owner value here too first thing is there shouldn't be any owners the second thing is we shouldn't own anything else so we're gonna say if current plot the value is new and owner dot value equals to or owner dot value equals to new then can purchase so now we can purchase the uh, um, the store so you can just say purchasing I'm gonna print the purchasing and we are going to purchase it so to purchase the shop we just change the current plot a value equals to equals to model and uh, owner dot value equals to player dot name okay so this should basically do that now we need to go into the display part um, and we need to go to surface and go to service GUI and
on label I'm gonna rename this text label to own label so we can change this owned by to the name so frame dot on label dot text equals to owned by mm, player dot name and then um once this is done we need to do one more thing and which is if the player leaves then it should again reset everything so we for that we're gonna go to the stats here we can just say game dot players dot player removing we're gonna connect it to a function uh, it's gonna be player we can get the current plot from here um, and once we get the current plot uh, we need to do one more thing and which is mm, let me check if current plot dot value is not equals to new then obviously the player owns something then we can since current plot dot value is basically going to be whatever you own we can just say current plot dot value dot owner dot value equals to and mm, and then we need to say this and no one okay so it's pretty much done uh, this should work let's see so the store is all the way there so I'll just go there This model is really nice, no cap. So owned by no one, owned by its mini crew, and if you go inside your player and check the current plot value, Apple Store, um, we can't see if it will remove this when we leave since we are in a solo. But I will start a server so we can check. So I'll start a server right here. Okay, so this is the server side. Uh, this is the player. So the server can see what's happening. So I'm I'm gonna go uh, on this door, and then we will see if the server will react when we leave. So it will reset everything. So just gonna own it right here. So it's owned by player one, which is my account name. Uh, up I'm just checking this model out anyways let's go out here and I'm gonna now leave here as you can see it resetted owned by Norman and store Apple store the owner value is also not uh, the player name so yes it works um so hope you hope you enjoy this video guys um if you want more videos like this let me know so yeah and um the model will be link uh, will be linked in the description if you want to get it for free um yeah that is it for today guys um comment uh, more video ideas if you got some since i ha i'm out of ideas anyways um see you guys